Hi everybody, let us have a brief learning on classification. We start exploring the existence of data and its type and we will take the session with hands on using Nine Analytic platform through zero coding. Data is everywhere. Data has the power. It refers to the statistical facts and figures which are the backbone of any data analysis. In this digital era, the number of internet searches, streaming that take place every 60 seconds are absolutely surprising. Though it is hard to quantify it, the significant sources that leverage them are Facebook, etc. These exponential growth of data pays way the emergence of various V's of big data. Listing few promising V's here are volume, it refers to the amount of data. Next V is variety, which holds the different types of data like text, audio, etc. Followed by velocity, which designates the transfer rate. We have veracity, which describes the uncertainty of data. Data are categorized as numerical and categorical data. Numerical data is also referred as quantitative data which are measurable, which in turn is classified as discrete and continuous data. Figure, the bar chart representation is an example of discrete type while histogram is continuous one. Then we have a categorical qualitative data. These data are observational and descriptive. It holds two division such as nominal and ordinal. Nominal data are used for naming the variables. Example for nominal data are the name, the gender, season, etc. Ordinal data is placed with some kind of order. For example, the size we have large, medium, extra large. Now it's time to process the collected data. Data analytics is a process that involves a modeled data to be examined for we have machine learning model which learns and acts like human with observations and real world interactions here we have training data and test data in this example the system is being trained with the images of dog and cat and then it is being tested with a dog image and the output is predicted as dog. Supervised learning algorithm, it uses labeled data as input to classify the data or to predict the outcomes accurately. The table here represents an example of supervised learning. When the input data is not labeled and when we don't have any prior knowledge about the data which is being given, it is called as unsupervised learning. It discovers pattern through clustering and dimensionality reduction. The data set here with x1 and x2 represents an example of unsupervised learning. So based on the data, it's whether it is discrete data or continuous data, we have few mapping with the supervised learning and unsupervised learning. In supervised learning, for the given data set, all the predictors xi and the corresponding response yi are observed. The figure demonstrates the difference between supervised and unsupervised learning. As discussed, supervised learning has two categories such as classification and regression. In classification, it separates different data points into different classes as shown in the figure. In regression, it finds a correlation between dependent and independent variable as depicted in the figure. Let us have a brief learning on k nearest neighbor. It is a simple non-parametric algorithm that stores all the available cases and classifies new cases based on a similarity measure that is a distance function and with majority voting. Since 1970, KNN has been used in statistical estimation and pattern recognition as well. Considering the two points of x, y, the equivalent distance is calculated using the formula here. In the figure, the test sample green circle should be classified either to the first class 
blue square or to the second class red triangle. If k is equal to 3, the solid line circle it is assigned to the second class red triangle because there are two triangles and only one square inside the inner circle. If k is equal to 5, a dashed line circle it is assigned to the first class blue square because it contains three squares versus two inside the outer circle. Consider an example for KNN. The data set here contains four points P1 to P4 with two dependent variables X1 and X2 representing the acid durability and the strength and the output target variable as Y with two major classification of bad and good. Now we need to predict the value of Y for a given new value of x1 and x2 with point p5 3 comma 7. All these points has been mapped in a scatter plot. Now we need to identify the value in the quotient. Here the objective is to calculate the distance for each point p1 to p4 in reference with the point p5. By applying the equilibrium distance formula for each point we shall derive the various distances. For instance, for P5, 3,7 with point P1, 7,7, the value of X1 is 3 and Y1 is 7 and X2 is 7 and Y2 is 7. The calculated distance using the formula is 4. Similarly, for the point P5 with P2 is calculated and P5 with P3 is calculated and P5 with P4 is calculated and we derived with this equilibrium distance of 4, 5, 3 and 3.60. Since the distance 4, 3, 3.60 are nearing neighbors, by comparing the distance value, we shall opt the value of k is equal to 3 here. Holding the value of k, k equal to 3 and the majority vote goes to good, so the point P5 is being classified as good. The various applications of the k nearest neighbor is listed here. Let us test your learning. Identify the model with the labeled data and the model with unlabeled data. Yes, absolutely right. Let us end the session with a demo using Nine Analytics platform, which is a drag and drop tool for data analytics, machine learning and statistics model. The flow is going to contain the table reader node, the partitioning node to divide the data set into training set and test set and the normalizer node to normalize the value of all the numeric columns and the normalizer apply node which is to normalize the test data and then we have the k nearest neighbor node for this classification. To visualize the output in colorful manner, we have color manager node and scatter plot node. Finally, we have a scorer node to validate our output. We are going to use this iris data set. Let us drag and drop the iris table to get this data set. In the node repository, search for partitioning node to partition our data set into train data set and test data set. So connect the output of this data ta table reader to the partitioning node, right click and execute it. Now it's time to configure this partitioning node. So let us take then apply, ok, then right click and execute. Normalizer node to normalize the column value. So we have a normalizer and then we need the training node and the test node appropriately. So the output of this is going to connect it with the output of this node. Then right click the normalizer node, configure it. So let us consider all the four parameters and then similarly we search for nearest. So we have k nearest node. So you just drag and place this to connect this and then right click configure. So since we have three classes, we are going to have <coughs> three class labels here. So give OK with this and you can configure the color manager with three colors. So as it was with uh, 
green color so even i can change the color so you can take color like this okay go apply now so my root and open view so that i got a classification like this to execute and open view so it shows accuracy is 96.6 a final takeaway using a use case a bank officer want to approve the loan for an applicant as with a knn and then the values with the s are no will help him to classify k nearest neighbor for predicting the output thank you so much